of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones today is 4th February, being Thursday, week 4 of the church calendar. And readings will be coming from Genesis chapter 44, verse 18 to 21, verse 23 to 29, and chapter 45, verse 1 to 5. A response to the sound will come from Psalm 105, verse responsorial 5a. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel chapter 10, verse 7 to 15. The theme of our message today is that Jesus gave his guideline for the mission of the apostles. It's normal before you send somebody on a mission, you must give a guideline. The do's and don'ts for the mission to succeed. So Jesus is all separated from that. He gave the guideline for the apostles to go on mission. And that's why today, he said to the apostles, preach as you go. Preach as you go. And the kingdom of God is close at hand. Heal the sick. Raise the dead, clean slippers, cast out demons. You receive without pay, give without pay. Has to be free of charge. You don't charge people for the mission of Christ. Christ has given this guideline. I gave them power over everything, all sickness, even to raise the dead and to cast out demons. So the mission is clearly a liberation ministry. And that's why he goes for that to tell them what to do and what not to do. He said, take no gold, no silver, no copper. Your bells, he said, no bag for your journey, nor two tonics, nor sandals. For a laborer deserves his pay. You are going on this mission, not your own mission. Everything you need will be provided by him who sent you. That's why you should not bother yourself what you go with. And he goes further to tell them, any town or village or house you enter, find out a man who is worthy in that place. Stay with him until you leave the place. And if you enter any house or town or village, first say, peace be on this place, on this house. If a man of peace is living there, your peace will fall upon him. But if not, the peace will return back to you. You see now the mission. You are going to the people's house to bring them peace of God. You are not staying there in vain. You are going to bring them the, the peace of God. And if they are worthy, you, they will receive your peace. If not, it will return back to you. He said... If you enter any town and village, they will not welcome you and will not listen to you. Dust of the dust of your leg for them to show them that they have rejected the word of God. And rejected God. He said, look, it's going to be more terrible for those towns or, or town or village than Sodom and Gomorrah on the judgment day. So it made them to understand there is no question of whether they accept the word or not. No. The word is made for them to accept it. The consequence of not accepting it is terrible. So you persuade everyone to accept the word. But you know what will follow if they refuse to accept the word. Or refuse to welcome you. You can see the pains of towns and villages or towns, families who reject God. Even attack the people of God. 
And if the mission of the apostle is to go and bring good news to the people, to the brave people in bondage, there should be a welcome visitors in any family or town or villages. But you ask God has given us the mission of the apostles. Ask yourself today, is this your own mission yourself who claim to be an apostle of Christ or a servant of God, a priest of God? Ask whether this is your mission. Are you guided by this mission or are you doing your own thing? Remember the consequences of walking outside the line or praying out of the mark. So you can see the consequences to the lady being on mission. God will normally prepare you for that mission. Will equip you for that mission. I will send you. You can't go on your own. You can't equip yourself. God will send you. will prepare everything for you and empower you and send you and there to protect you. We can see today the mission of Joseph. God has a mission for Joseph. And human beings have an evil plan for him. The brothers of Joseph sold him into slavery with the intention that he would die there. But Joseph was transformed into a different mission. He went to Egypt and became a great man in Egypt. And when his brothers came and discovered he's the man, they saw that he's now the hem of affairs of the Pharaoh of Egypt. In charge of governing the whole nation himself. They were afraid. He said, don't be afraid. You have evil nation, but God prepared me for a mission. To come in here and take care of people. To preserve people's life by feeding them. So that's my mission. Your own mission is different, but God's mission for me is different. So Joseph recognized his mission and is happy celebrating that mission. God chose him and sent him. Even though by the mechanism of evil minds. So for he who honors God, everything was unto good. As far as you are in God, the evil plans of people will turn to the glory of God for you. As the evil plan of the Joseph brothers turned to the glory of God. And they now saw him. And that was the psalmist who understood this so well so well today. And looking at the apostles, who are the apostles? Just chosen men, men who have no consequence we are choosing as apostles of Christ. And they were about turning the world upside down. These are all wonders of God. And that was the psalmist who understand this so well today. They say, remember the wonders of the Lord has done. Remember the wonders he has done. Joseph case is a wonderful uh, the eyes of the apostles is a wonderful act of God. The children of the apostles, the wonderful act of God. The mission of the apostles, the wonderful act of God. So that one seems to describe them. Remember the wonderful work of God. As you have seen that God, Jesus Christ, is the, is the man who was the mission of the Father, that he's sending the apostles and he has to equip them and guide them. I see how he chose Joseph. May God give us grace to understand when we are choosing and make us to listen to the guidelines of our own mission in life so that we we'll attain the purpose for which he sent us and come back to get the reward. And the apostles did as Joseph did. We ask through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us and we celebrate our mission and guideline given to us by God who sent us on this mission. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. It's the Lord's show.